KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. The governor has already said no to Senator Jim Moylan's request to call an emergency session so senators can amend the RISE Act law. She said it's not an emergency and can wait until online applications are ready and when final spending guidance is released by the Treasury Department. But Moylan says it is an emergency. I can't see when it's an emergency. If declaring that it's not an emergency when you're telling people or our, our residents of Guam that it's first come, first serve. I, I don't see that we can't consider this an emergency when you're saying there's a cap on the amount of money. And again, I don't see when you can't see this as an emergency, Governor, when we had the poor ending in 50 or less days. And the list goes on. Moylan also has a list of proposed amendments that include increasing the payouts to 1,000 for singles and 2,000 for couples and eliminating the funding cap altogether so that everyone who qualifies gets paid. It's amazing. It's called the American Rescue Plan where the federal government is, uh, is providing uh, these funds over $600 million to the people of Guam and it's supposed to be a rescue plan, not a stressful plan. It's supposed to be rescue. And the folks that are qualified for this due to the pandemic, then this is where the money should go. But he can't fast track a bill without a special session. If the governor won't do it, he's asking the speaker to. If she doesn't do it, they have a backup plan. In August, we'll be going into the budget hearing. We will make the move. Uh, as an amendment to the budget to include these changes that we've introduced, introduce it right into the budget. And I believe that I have the uh, support of my colleagues because we want to do the right thing. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.